A Charlie Brown Christmas. of the year. Snowflakes floated from the crisp pine scented air. The wind carried the joyful sounds of jingling bells, Christmas carols, and people wishing one another happy holiday. The greatest time of the year was finally here. Whipping across a frozen pond, the peanut gang was as happy as well children at Christmas time. All except good old Charlie Brown. I think there must be something wrong with me. I just don't understand Christmas, I guess. I might be getting presents and sending Christmas cards and decorating trees and all that, but I'm still not happy. I don't feel the way I'm supposed to feel. Charlie Brown, you are the only person I know who can take a wonderful season like Christmas and turn it into a problem. Maybe Lucy is right. Of all the Charlie Browns in the world, you are the Charlie Brownest. Rats, nobody sent me a Christmas card today. I know nobody likes me. Why do we have to have a holiday season to emphasize it? Thanks for the Christmas card you sent me, Violet. I didn't send you a Christmas card. Don't you know sarcasm when you hear it? I'm in sad shape. Hold up there, Charlie Brown. I need five cents for you for my kind of advice. Boy, I love the sound of cold, hard cash. That beautiful, beautiful sound. Nickels, nickels, nickels. That beautiful sound of plunking nickels. Now what seems to be your trouble? I know I should be happy during Christmas, but I can't seem to manage it. Well, as they say on TV, the mere fact that you realize you need help indicates that you are not too far gone. I think we better pinpoint your fears. If we can find out what you're afraid of, we can label it. Are you afraid of responsibility? If you are, then you have hypergenophobia. How about cats? If you're afraid of cats, you have allorabophobia. Are you afraid of staircases? If you are, then you have climophobia. Or maybe you have thalassophobia. This is a fear of the ocean. Or geriophobia, which is a fear of crossing bridges. Or maybe you have pantophobia. Do you think you have pantophobia? What's pantophobia? A fear of everything. That's it. Actually, Lucy, my trouble is Christmas. I just don't understand it. Instead of feeling happy, I feel sort of let down. You need involvement. You need to get involved in some real Christmas projects. How would you like to be the director of our Christmas play? Me? You want me to be the director of the Christmas play? Sure, Charlie Brown, we need a director. We've got a shepherd, a musician, everyone we need. We've even got a Christmas queen. Charlie Brown hesitated. What did he know about how to properly direct a Christmas play? Don't worry, I'll be there to help you. Charlie Brown thought for a moment. Maybe he did need to get involved with a holiday project in order to feel better about things. Lucy's confidence was almost contagious. Besides, he couldn't let everyone down. They needed him. Figuring he had nothing to lose, Charlie Brown agreed to meet Lucy and the rest of the cast later at the auditorium. Incidentally, I know about how you feel about all this Christmas business, getting depressed and all that. It happens to me every year. I never get what I really want. I always get a lot of stupid toys, or a bicycle, or clothes, or something like that. What is it you want? Real estate. What's going on here? Find the true meaning of Christmas. Win money, 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 spectacular, super collagial, neighborhood Christmas lights, and display contests. Even his very own dog had gone commercial. The thought of the contest made Charlie Brown feel positively sick. Was money all anyone cared about? Charlie Brown couldn't stand it. I've been looking for you, big brother. Will you please write a letter to Santa Claus for me? You write it, and I'll tell you what I want to say. Charlie Brown was in a hurry to get to the school auditorium on time for his rehearsal, but he couldn't say no to his little sister. Okay, shoot. I have been extra good this year, so I have a long list of presents that I want. <sighs> oh, brother. Please note the size and color of each item and send as many as possible. If it seems too complicated, make it easy on yourself. Just send money. How about tens and twenties? Charlie Brown was in dismay. Even his baby sister had become greedy. Writing a letter to Santa was one thing, but demanding cash from him was just absurd. All right, stop the music. We're going to do this play, and we're going to do it right. All right, I'm here to assign your roles. Frida, you're playing the innkeepers. Pigpen, you're the innkeeper. And Cheer Me, you're the shepherd. 
Snoopy was delighted to play the roles of all the different animals, from sheep to cow to penguin. Memorize these lines so you can recite them on cue. This is ridiculous. I can't memorize something like this so quickly. Why should I be put through such agony? Give me one good reason why I should have to memorize this. I'll give you five good reasons. One, two, three, four, five. Those are good reasons. Christmas is not only getting too commercial, it's getting too dangerous. And get rid of that stupid blanket. What's a Christmas shepherd going to look like holding a stupid blanket like that? All right, let's have a quiet places, everybody. Schroeder, set the mood for the first scene. <laughs> cut, cut, it's all wrong. Let's rehearse another scene instead. Nobody seemed to be able to concentrate. Pigpen's dust is ruining the style of my naturally curly hair. Isn't he the cutest thing? We Want a lunch break? Good grief, there's no time for foolishness. Let's take it from the top again. What's the matter? Don't you think it's great? Look, let's face it. We all know that Christmas is a big commercial racket. It's ruined by big Eastern synths tonight. Yeah, no. Well, this is one play that's not going to be commercial. What our play needs is the proper Christmas mood. We need a Christmas tree. Hey, perhaps a Christmas tree. A great big shiny aluminum Christmas tree. That's it. Get the biggest aluminum tree you can find. Hey, maybe you can paint it pink. Charlie Brown left Lucy in charge of rehearsal and set out with Linus to find the perfect tree for their play. Gee, I didn't know they still, they still made wooden Christmas trees. This one seems to need a home. I don't know. Remember what Lucy said? This doesn't seem to fit the modern spirit. I don't care. We'll decorate it and it will be just right for our play. Besides, I think it needs me. We're back! Boy, are you stupid, Charlie Brown. You were supposed to get a good tree. Can't you tell the difference between a good tree and a poor tree? <sighs> You're hopeless, Charlie Brown. You've been dumb before, but this time you bit it. I guess you were right, Linus. I shouldn't have picked this little tree. Everything I do turns into a disaster. I guess I don't really know what Christmas is about. Isn't there anyone who knows what Christmas is all about? True, sure, Charlie Brown. I can tell you what Christmas is all about. Lights, please. And there were in the same country shepherds, abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them. And they were sore afraid, and the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you, you shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God, and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. That's what Christmas is all about, Charlie Brown. Charlie Brown. Linus is right. I won't let all this commercialism ruin my Christmas. I'll take this little tree home, and I'll decorate it, and I'll show them it will really work in our play. I killed it! Everything I touch gets ruined. I never thought it was such a bad little tree. It's not bad at all. Really, maybe it just needs a little love. Charlie Brown is a blockhead, but he did get a nice tree. <laughs> What's going on here? Merry Christmas, Charlie Brown! His little tree that no one had wanted, and he could hardly believe his eyes. His friend's efforts had transformed it into something truly special, and everyone sang, Hark the herald angels sing, Glory to the newborn king. He saw 